Hey guys, tonight I'm going to do a clear coat install on the Nano 6G, something that uh, a few people have been asking me for, and I've been meaning to do it, but when I get in the house, I leave this in the car, so with it getting colder out, I decided to bring it in uh, every night. I do leave this in my center console, so I just have it plugged in, and any case probably won't work well around it because the plug that goes into this is not all that friendly when it comes to a whole lot of room. So I got to leave this naked in there. So my option or your option could be a full body protection. Now I did the unboxing on this a while ago and it's pretty simplistic obviously for the Nano and I don't know as far as how difficult this will be to put on. But as you can see here, there's the front piece, the back piece, and then they actually do have a side and uh, top, which this portion, uh, oh, I'm sorry, the top, there's actually a piece right up here for this. I don't even know if you can see that on there. And then they have the back and front, and they actually have the sides here. So we're going to have to figure that out exactly how that works. So... Let's take a look at the directions and see what we got. And you know what? There's not a whole lot to tell you. But as I mentioned in the other video in the unboxing, there's the solution, which is actually like in a clear glass tube. So be careful when you're using that. And of course, the install. Um, you want to call this like the scraper to get the bubbles out or on there. So yes, this is a wet install. And uh, one of the things that they do say is uh, let your device sit for three to four hours with the power off and uh, to let it set. Uh, I do have my hands clean. Unfortunately, I did a number on my thumb there. Killer. I had to cut that down and it's all extra short. Not that you people need to see that. But let's spray the hands, get everything a little bit down here. And of course... When you are installing this, uh, when you care, when you remove the screen, you're going to uh, spray the product and not the device, which I have been known to do in the past. So we have a curled piece here for the front, which is a curved piece, not a curled piece, a curved piece. And we're going to set that on the fingers. We're going to move this out of the way for a second, and we're going to spray... The product and I've learned in the past that you can never have enough spray on the uh, on the kit itself on the screen it's screen shield itself so let me move up here just a little bit and oh, I guess I want to show you guys what we're doing here huh? and I'm gonna move up here so hopefully my head doesn't get in the shot and install this so, oh, you know what? I apologize. This is for the back. We'll do that first. And it's pretty straightforward. Pretty basic. Sits on there well. And that's, you know, heck, if you mess that up, you're pretty, uh, you're pretty sad. <laughs> now, you're going to let that sit there. And it is moving around a little bit. Hence the reason why they want you to let it dry. So we're going to place that down like that, just push it down, and it is moving on the back there, so you have to be careful with that. I'll let that dry for a few minutes, guys, and we'll continue. Okay, guys, so I let it wait about, eh, about five minutes, and uh, it's definitely on there tight now. You don't want to go you know, moving it around and going too crazy on it, but it is staying centered as we speak. So, I apologize for the delay there. I was just uh, chilling out, catching Mark, soldier knows best on his Ustream, while I do this install. And let's spray the front. And I have no idea what the deal is with these side pieces. I was trying to take a look at it, see exactly how they're going to go on there. So, we shall see. Let's move you guys in the position here. And this is the front piece. 
which again, I have it sprayed completely, and it'll probably go on a little bit better than the back, just because of the screen. And the nice thing is, they don't have it go entirely over the screen. It's a little bit short, so you kind of want to get it positioned right in the middle. And I'm guessing that that has something to do with the side pieces that are on here. So, we'll work all the product out. And, like I said, they want you to leave it off. So that turned up pretty well so far. Not too bad at all. A little bit of bubbles there. I'll work that out. And show you the finished product after the fact. And I won't do that now. I'll get that little one out. All right, so we do have, and I'm guessing, you know what, I didn't check this out. If you have to wet the side pieces or not, usually you don't do that because they're so tiny. You don't have to worry about it. Like, for instance, this top piece right here, if you see that in the light right there, it's just so minuscule. Probably would just stick on there without a problem. So, I'm trying to watch you guys in the camera. Make sure I keep you in the shot. They got it nice and rounded here, so it'll probably line up real nice against the button. And on the other side, we just got to line it up there. And it does bend a little bit, so be careful when you're moving that around. As you see there, it is short to one side. And I have it lined up against the button. There you go. So, I don't know if that's something that you're really going to necessarily have to worry about, you know, putting on there. But the extra protection is nice. And uh, I'll try to slide it in place because we didn't do any solution on that. So. so, after a little deliberation and waiting for my heater to go off... I've determined that you have a short piece here, which is a little shallow as you see the cut there. And the other side is a little deeper as you see there around the edge. And I noticed that on the device here, that this side is, tends to be a little more shallow than this side. So what we shall do is take the deeper cut here. And there's the flat edge and, of course, where the cutout is. And we'll spray a little bit of solution on there. And what I'm going to actually do is, I think this is, take the flat edge and run it along the screen. Uh, stop. I'm going to tell you guys right now, this just goes from bad to worse. <laughs> so I'm just going to speed it up and I'll explain at the end. I didn't do a very good job of that, and that's it's not staying on. There we go. Using the install piece helps out a little bit. So there we go with the sides. I didn't do the best job in the world, but you know what? Um, I'll have to ask the guys over at ClearCut if I did that right after they see the video and make sure that you guys have the right way of doing this if you decide to get this for your uh, device. And like I said... uh. The front and back were real easy. Uh, I do have some bubbles here, so I'll work those out and take some pictures for you, let you see that. See? So, probably just scrape those right out. Probably come right out since it's such a tiny screen. Okay, guys, so I, I played a little bit trying to get this screen lined up a little bit better, or the bubbles out a little bit better. And I find that the sides are starting to peel up a little bit here, so... I'm going to have to check with the manufacturer and see if I actually did that right when I show them the video. Or when they see this, I'll forward it on to them. I love the front screen protection. I love the back protection because of the clip on here. And everything stayed on great. But I'm not having a whole lot of luck with these pieces on here. Um, I don't know if it's just too small or because I put the solution on it. I'm having a little bit of an issue with that. So I'm going to let it dry overnight. It seems to be fitting out pretty well right now, and uh, the device looks great. The bubbles are starting to go away. I waited a few minutes, and uh, I do have one little bubble right here, and uh, I'll work with that 
off camera. I gotta stop doing that or I'm gonna end up killing the darn thing. But you see there, it turned out pretty well. You gotta let it dry, of course. I'm not gonna turn it on. And uh, we'll see how that goes. And I'll get back to you guys. So there's the clear coat. There's the price you can get it at for the Nano 6G if you have one. And uh, we got the other stuff coming up soon. Um, I've got... I'm going to put that on my uh, Apple uh, iPod Touch, which would be pretty cool. Got one for my wife's 3GS, or maybe I'll give that away. And uh, for the iPhone 4, I definitely want to try that out. So we got lots coming, guys. So uh, stick around. I appreciate it. Uh, all your support. You guys have a great one. I'll talk to you later. See ya!